I just thought everybody knows how to make bacon and eggs. It's gonna make a beautiful salad. Oh! See, I put them off where the coals are. I'm making a potato salad that has no carbs in it. One of my favorite comfort foods, it's all of our favorite, is macaroni and cheese, but I can't have it anymore because there's 50 carbs in a cup of macaroni and cheese. So I've developed, I call it cauliflower -oni and cheese. And there are six carbs in one cup of this. And it, it is just delicious and I'm gonna show you how to make it. So I start with two tablespoons of melted butter and I've got it on a medium heat. I'm gonna get that to bubble a little bit. I use Kerrygold butter, it's from Ireland, but the cows are really happy over there, and so it makes the best butter in the whole wide world. There it goes, it's starting to bubble. And I'm gonna add one half cup of chopped onion. We'll stir that up. We're gonna cook this onion until it it's kind of soft. We don't want to cook it till it's brown or anything. Just cook it till it's soft. About, I'd say, two minutes. One tablespoon of onions chopped is one carb. And that's about how much you'd get in a cup of this cauliflower onion cheese. That's on a little too high. Turn that down. I knew that that was too high because it was starting to pop and we don't want that, we just want it simmering. You know, when you've cooked for 40 years, there's a lot of little things you learn just by looking and smelling, and I could just tell that was cooking too fast. Now this is ready, and to that I'm going to add one half cup of cream, heavy cream. And stir that up, now we have to be real careful we don't want this to get too hot or the cream will curdle. So I've got the cream in there. Then I'm gonna add one cup of cheddar cheese, a half a cup of Parmesan cheese, and two tablespoons of cream cheese. And then all we're gonna do is stir this on low until the cheese is melted. And that's our cheese sauce. I'm gonna add some Lowry's to it as soon as this gets mixed in. I add a half a teaspoon of Lowry's seasoned salt. And I'm gonna add about five or six wanks of fresh ground pepper. Wank is an official cooking term in my kitchen. There are so many different macaroni and cheese recipes. Some will have six cheeses or two or one. Uh, I've always liked the three cheese macaroni and cheese. And now that we don't eat macaroni, I just converted it over to cauliflower. This is almost done melting. You just want it so it's melted and it looks like a cheese sauce. And you don't want to boil this because cheese and all your dairy products will scorch if they get cooked too fast. They don't like it. If you cook with gas, you can see how low I have that flame right now because I'll turn it up and you'll see the difference. Well, we want it really low. And I don't want it bubbling and it's starting to because I quit stirring. As long as you stir, you're going to keep it going around and it's not going to start bubbling and scorch. So I'm, that's finished. I'm gonna turn that off and put it over here. Now, here's my cauliflower. I cooked it for 15 minutes and you can see this is how tender it is. You want it so it's like a tender noodle. This might not be the most beautiful pot in the world, but it's my pot and I love it. It's probably 35 or 40 years old. Now, I've drained the water out of the pan when, that I cooked the cauliflower in, and it's still kind of hot, but, oh, yeah. Ooh, it's steaming. 
So there's no water in the pan and I'm going to put the cut up cauliflower back in the pan because that's where I'm going to mix the sauce over it. So I'm going to cut this up. Oh, it looks like a tree in winter. You know, if you see chefs on television, their chopping sounds like this. I can't chop that fast. Well, maybe I can. That's about good. So I cut this up about the size of macaroni. I'm going to just use half of this head and that's what you'd use if you follow the amount I've used for the cheese sauce. So I'm going to put half of this in, back in the pan that it, I cooked it in. So I'm going to pour my cheese sauce over my cauliflower. Now you could serve this straight out of this pan, but I'm going to bake it in the oven at 375 for about 20 minutes to just get the top browned and, and bubbly. So I'm going to put this in the baking dish. It's been buttered, so it's not going to stick. I'm just going to fill this up. You could turn the oven on 400 for about five minutes to brown it faster, but I'd be scared that it might burn. So. So just 375 for about 20 minutes. That goes in. I have the rack kind of high up because I do want it to brown. And I'm going to put the timer on for 20 minutes. Oops, <laughs> you're still here. Go away, go away. Adore who you are. Adore where you are. Adore who you're with.